sis. What up? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, y'all. I know it's been a long, long, long time. What, like six months since I made a video, but sis has been busy. I'll probably make a video if y'all want. Comment down below if y'all want me to make a video just talking about what I've been up to and such. But um, today is my last day at Panera Bread. <clears throat> If y'all ever worked at Panera, y'all have to struggle. So I'm gonna serve this last beat for my last shift, and here we go. So I've already moisturized my skin already. I always use the Clean and Clear product, but besides that, I sprayed my face with the good old Mario Badesco. I love the cucumber one. I don't really like the rosemary one. I don't know, it just smells weird to me. Um, and then, I don't have any primer. So I was in Tampa a couple weeks ago, and you know when you're getting ready with your friends, Kiki and all that, it can get a little messy. So I had left my primer there, and I just had realized it like earlier this week. So I had my friend mailing it to me. So today, I'm not gonna be using any primer. Hopefully my skin doesn't break out, but we'll see. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this NYX Illuminator, uh, Liquid Illuminator, um, just to help brighten up my skin a little bit. Um, it's going to be some kind of layer besides nothing. Ooh, my God. It's kind of weird blending it. Uh, I think it's running dry. So I'm going to spray it with this water. So I don't know if I'll do this again, but I've seen people just put like an illuminator on the bottom just to give you a little bit more shine. It's supposed to shine through. But we'll see. But I'm gonna go do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and the brows are all done. Um, I tried to blend it out a bit, but I'm gonna put foundation on. So of course you're gonna see that. And then I put some concealer on my eyelids so when I get ready to do my um, eyes, it'll be all ready. Um, this is my orange color corrector. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with foundation. Today I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, this includes the straight extensions that Jackie Ina did. And um, this one is the shade Sable. Let's see what one drop does, cause that looks like a lot. Um, we're gonna wet this beauty blender. And we're just gonna dab. Look at that coverage, sis. Mm. <laughs> so I've been known to kind of ruin my brows um, with foundation and stuff, so I try not to get too close. But I'm gonna go back in and blend it with a brush. Let's just use this one. That's just some little tiny brush. And we're gonna blend this upwards and out because I don't want to see the highlight. I don't like that. Um, I like it underneath my eyes. I mean my eyebrows, but above, I don't, I'm not a fan. Like a little extra bit of foundation. So, where's my powder brush? Well, since my brows are tiny, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna dip into this powder. Well, dip into this powder so y'all can see. And then I'm just gonna lightly, well, I mean, it's hard to do light powder, but I'm gonna trace my brows. You don't need to go ham or anything. And then that's just gonna set the pomade and make your brows last longer. And you can also do this before as well, but to be honest, I just forgot. And that before, it gets rid of the oil before you even put on the brows. And you don't need to let it bake or anything, um, cause it's just 
powder, and since your brows are so small, it's gonna come off. Girl, where's my brush? We're just gonna go with this one. This is also the Unicorn um, Collection. I got off of AliExpress, I believe. And so a trick I've learned from Patrick Starr is whenever you use powder, you want to use setting spray or some kind of spray before you do powder again. So, got my Mario Badesco. So to set my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Loose Finish Powder. This is in the shade Dork, cause I'm dark. This is nice and red like me, so I like the powder a lot. So I'm just gonna dab her in here and I'm just gonna dust it um, across. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with concealer. We're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. Beow, beow. Um, this is in the shade Rich. She's really full coverage. Um, once again, I'm going for full coverage because I'm going to work, I'm gonna be sweating. And today, we're gonna be putting up a lot. Why? Because I feel like it. I normally would never put on this much, but something about today and I've been seeing people put concealer right here inside of their nose. So I'm going to try it. See if it works out. Let me get you there. That might be too much. We'll blend it out. And then down here. Right here. And then I don't really like too much up here. So I just dab a little bit. Cause I really like to contour my face more. <clears throat> then you also know I like to double up. I uh, go in with the in L'Oreal. Girl, I can't read. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is in the darkest shade they had, 212. She's way too light for me, but she's nice and red. So I like to double her up for my concealer. And this is a lot of concealer. We're going to be extra bright today. So I'm going to blend out the center. I'm going to leave the eyes for last. I like that to be nice and full coverage. I went way too far. It's supposed to stay inwards. Girl, now I got to... Now I'm gonna do my contour. This is an LA Girl um, Pro something or another mahogany. That's what she is. And we're going on. All right, let's start up here. I like to put streaks to make sure it's going downwards. Bring in this forehead. But also I'm wearing a hat I said at work, so it really don't even matter to be honest. Ooh, that was a lot. Come on, sis. Okay, and cut these cheeks. And then just a little bit under here for the jawline. Am I missing anything? Um, my nose. And so I think you're supposed to do it here. I'm experimenting with this nose contour, so y'all excuse me. I kind of naturally have some nice cheekbones, I think myself. Do this concealer. Um, hopefully she didn't completely dry out. I want to keep it here. I'm low-key living for this bright highlight, low-key. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go in with the uh, Patrick Star powder, Patrick's powder for my under eyes. And we're gonna load it on because I'm going to work. Don't wanna sweat anything off. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of no color powder on the sides and cut my cheeks. If I can find it. Look here. Try to get oil in. My smile lines. So for eyes, my hat is orange. So I'm gonna do like an orangey, purpley, goldy look. I don't really have a true orange. Orange. I'm looking at the hat, so I'm gonna just go with this color. Um, this is Zakaya. It's more of a ready orange, but she orange. There we go. Come on, orange. Okay, so that's good enough. Um, I'm gonna go in with a gold and put it in on the center here using my finger. Now, this is Nubia. Miss Nubia. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get a purpley shade and do like a darker moment right here for some little ombre moments. This is a palette that my friend Sarah, my Vicky Judy gave me. Um, this is a Morphe palette. This is 25B. I'm gonna go in with this matte plummy purpley color right here. Ooh. Come on, purple. And we wanna blend. This is my Morphe 35F. Here, so I'm gonna use this dark purple right here and work her into the Nubia. I'm gonna take um, Sakaya again, that orangey shade, and kind of blend everything together. It's not so harsh. And this foil I can do with my hand. The orange really melded together with the purple. Um, and then you get the nice pop of gold. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. So I'm back, the eyes are all done. I brushed off all my powders. And, and I'm about to put on more powder, believe it or not. I have a lady from Miss Patrick Star. And so I'm gonna dust this Laura Mercier. Even though I've already baked, it's gonna get me a little bit brighter, even though I already look bright as frick, but today I'm going for a really nice bright highlight. And so I still got the miniature one. I never bought the big one. And I've had this for probably over a year. And if she's expired or not, I don't know. But that's a lot. Okay, still a lot. Okay, there's still a lot. Oh wow. Well, we're gonna be bright today. We're gonna be shining. Shining. From Panera Bread. So I'm gonna put on my lashes, my Miami Lily Lashes. You already know, and I'll be right back. Lashes are on. Girl, they're gonna be shook when I show up to work, so I'm shook. Uh, I put the little lashes on, and then I also put a little bit of orange underneath, just a pop of color. Uh, also getting to match with the hat that I'm gonna be wearing. And then now it's time for highlight. For the first layer, yes, I said first layer, I'm gonna be using the Morphe Bretman Rock Palette Bathe in Paradise. And this is Shady Bay right here. I love this shade, it's nice and dark. Okay, I did not get enough. I was trying to be real light because she's going to just wait. Oh, there she goes. When you walk in, first thing you'll see is this highlight.
Okay, and I'm gonna add a bit to my nose. I tease my finger because I don't want to get too crazy. Um, just the bridge right here. Well, I guess this is called the tip. I like her to be nice and shining. And then just the top of the bridge right here, ultimately to make a little kind of exclamation point, but you don't want to drag it too far down. Uh, there we go. And I'm going with some more. I'm um, using the Jackie Ina Diamond Glow Powders with Artist Couture. This is the peach. And I'm just gonna dust that on top of the highlight that I have already. And you can just use the inside because you can even see it's a lot of powder in there already. And a little bit goes a long way. You see already, boom. Boo. Bow. Ooh, Girl. I line my lips with this lipstick. Um, this is from Revlon. It's in the shade 665 Coco Licious. I'm gonna be using Griselda. This is the Fenty Beauty. Uh, Matte Moselle, I think that's what they were called. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb, but I call it Bomb Gloss because it's a bomb gloss. And I always like my lips to look nice and juicy. Uh, So this is the finished look. I got my hat on, about to go to work. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about the look. Um, like, comment, please subscribe. Um, talk about anything else that I should do or anything you want me to talk about in my life, maybe life update. I don't know, just tell me something because I want to know how y'all want to see this channel because this is the only reason I'm really doing it is for y'all because a lot of people grow up this a lot of people have been telling me that they miss me. So I really appreciate it and it's fun doing these, but I just wanna produce what you guys wanna see. So um, yeah, just like, comment, subscribe below and I'll talk to you later. Well, girl, I ain't talking to y'all, but I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, okay, hold up. You see a bad bitch coming through, yo, what's the hold up? I'm in that new, new, me, and